Hi guys, we are in Mulrain Lake. Um, our goal today is to hike the Centennial Pass, but we'll see how um, we are in a condition because just getting onto that bus, I got a little dizzy, nauseous from the windy road, winding road um, and the bus. And so we're gonna see how far we can go today. It's cold, I have a scarf on, <laughs> that's my toque, but we're, gonna see if we can get into the large valley and see the larches um, but other than that we're gonna try to see the centennial pass it's six kilometers so it's not too complex but it's already a steep hike my mom is hot, <laughs> hot. hot. she how many like layers I have like that jacket winter jacket on two layers of shirt garments and a t-shirt seems like it's winter ma <laughs> there you go, the steep hike already. Oh, yeah. Steep hike, mom, huh? Steep. <sighs> Snowing. There's your larches, mom. Right on. Almost 400 meters elevation, and we have reached the largest. Three hours, almost three kilometers later. There goes my mom. Say hi, mom. <laughs>
Wow, so yellow. Yes, it was yellow. This is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful Valley of Golds, they call it. Here, this is the reason why. Worth, Worth the hikes. So on the way here, story time. We have to take the bus because there is limited parking for Marin Lake or Lake Louise. So we had to take the bus and the, or the shuttle. Um, and uh, I got a little nauseous because the bus was, you're wearing masks and it's, they have some fumes on it and it just isn't great for me. And so um, it was a struggle going up and uh, I kept saying, okay, I can do this, I can do this. But, and I, I'm glad I did it because this is just absolutely gorgeous. Have a look again. Are you happy? This is make you happy, mother. This is the panoramic view where I'm standing at right now. I just can't get enough how beautiful it is. The wind, like snowy mountain, the fall, absolutely gorgeous. Bumabata kaya ma? Bumabatan. It's cold. It's, I don't know if you could kind of see it, but it it's, has some flurries, snowing a little bit. And so we're just gonna go a little bit down and then see what it leads to. Kind of just see the other side of the mountain and then probably just start heading down. Took us almost um, two hours to get up just to get to the large valley. We're probably not be able to go to Centennial, but We'll see. Go 
gorgeous. So update, we are heading back. Um, it's like almost three o'clock and we still have to go back to Edmonton. So if you um, come down here, I would recommend leaving Edmonton like four o'clock, <laughs> five o'clock the latest. So you're in the trail around like 10. We got here at like 12. There's no parking. We started hiking around one o'clock. And um, yeah, <laughs> I think Centennial Pass is another four kilometers. And so we're just gonna kill, um, end it today. Maybe other years we'll go to Centennial Pass, but this is just absolutely beautiful. Highly recommended, worth the struggle. <laughs> ah, look at this. Look at those mountain views. Cheese. 